Namaste. Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining me. I'm Chi, and you are here with Divine Vibrations with Chi. Thank you so much for joining me today as I am going to share with you a little bit of my positivity toolkit that helps me raise my vibration and keep my frequency high. So, as I've mentioned before, I'm a pretty earthy person and I love to meditate. Meditation is one of the ways that I help re-energize myself, recenter myself and bring myself to a happy place. Yep, that's right. My happy place. And one of the ways that I do that is I utilize the positive energy frequencies from the natural environment, whether that be rocks or plants. And I'm going to share with you one of those uh, special minerals today. Say hello to my little friend. That's right. This here is a Celeste type. Isn't that gorgeous? Take a look. Look at how just beautifully sparkly this specimen is. And that beautiful, tranquil blue, pale, just delicious little color that it is. And so the reason Celestite actually gets that beautiful pale blue color is because it has the mineral strontinium in it. And that's what actually gives it its color. And, and many people don't realize this, but actually rocks get their colors from other minerals through the process of whether heat and pressure in the earth that has helped to create that particular type of rock. And as you can see, some of the different ones behind me. And so depending on what kind of mineral is present at the time of that rock's formation actually aids in the color formation of that mineral or that rock. Like for example, iron is red. It's a peaceful rock. It really is. And it helps with communication. It helps with uh, creative expression. It helps with speaking your truth. And it helps with inner peace. And so if you're somebody that right now is um, needing some help with communication, which is our throat chakra right here. And as you can see, our throat chakra is blue. How's that, right? Celestite is blue. <laughs> see that? And so um, if you're having trouble with thyroid issues, speaking your truth, opening your throat chakra, grab yourself a celestite and, or another blue rock, but I love celestite. It actually also helps us with our uh, sense of inner peace. And as you can see, the blue is so tranquil. You can see why it actually connects with inner peace and with that feeling of tranquility. It is such just a celestial, and it's a perfect name, celestite, right? Celestial feeling when not only you hold the energy uh, in your hand, but that you meditate with it. So it helps with communication. It helps with creative, um, creative uh, expression and speaking. So again, it's connected with our throat chakra. It also uh, specifically helps with speaking your inner truth. So one of, I don't know if I've uh, mentioned this before, but I'm pretty sure that I have. Uh, but I had a thyroid growth, a growth um, that basically caused my thyroid to get enlarged. And one of the reasons I feel that my thyroid actually became enlarged was because I was blocking my throat chakra. I was blocking speaking my inner truth. And ever since I was a little kid, I was always told to be quiet because I'm a pretty vocal person. And I was always kiboshed uh, about speaking and um, being vocal. And over time, that internalized. And I think over time, it caused a physiological uh, phenomenon to happen to where my 
my throat chakra was being closed and blocked off. And then by doing so, it manifested in my thyroid, who it, which is actually physically attached to your throat, um, to become uh, inflamed and to some degree uh, harbor disease because I wasn't speaking my inner truth. And a lot of people feel, well, that's kind of like, you know, uh, crazy talk. It isn't. <laughs> it really isn't. A lot of the reason why we have disease in our bodies is because we in some way, whether consciously or unconsciously, um, hold some type of blockage. Mind over matter. It's the truth. I'm speaking truth. So one way you can actually, if you're if you're having trust issues, um, and trust issues originate in your throat chakra as well, uh, in the form of trustworthiness, and it comes um, from us not speaking our truth. And so one way we can do that and release those trust issues is by visualizing uh, the flowing of energy and Trust itself, trust issues, comes from our root chakra. It's, as you can see, right here, right? And you have these trust issues, and they start here and they originate here, but they actually also manifest all the, well, let's see if I can do this right, all the way up to our throat chakra, right here. Notice how it's blue? Yeah. So... Um, when we don't speak our truth, we block the chakras and they'll tell us because you'll start to get gut feelings, right? Like, ah, I don't want to do that. I don't want to say that I'm feeling this, this type of way or that type of way. That's your body talking to you. And I, I really feel like it's important to release our chakras and and not have those blockages so one way you can do that is to visualize that energy flowing from your root chakra all the way up to your throat chakra and then back down and then when you have this visualization in meditation and what i usually do is i hold on to my celestite when i'm um, meditating this specific meditation and I also affirm and I say affirmations such as I trust the universe and I in turn am trustworthy. So you can sit there, visualize, breathe in, breathe out. Again, taking cleansing breaths. And when I take my cleansing breaths out, I visualize them actually pushing all the way out, either out of my throat and out of my feet all the way down. And I repeat the mantra, I trust the universe and I in turn am trustworthy. I also feel like um, Celestite is a great mineral and um, crystal being that helps with uh, inner peace. So finding peace and having inner peace, I believe, is one of the key factors to us finding peace in this world. So much of the disruption that we have in this world with wars and fighting is because not because of other people's, but really because of a lack of inner peace within ourselves. We are having an internal storm that we are having a hard time either identifying and coming to terms with. And one way we can actually calm our storm is to find inner peace. And one way we can do that is by meditating for inner peace. So celestite is a great mineral in which you can utilize its strengths and its energetic benefits to help you while meditating for a sense of inner peace. And I usually mantra, 
My body is at perfect peace. I feel deep peace at the sound of the bowl or a bell. And what I do is I actually meditate with a singing bowl. My body is at perfect peace. I feel deep peace at the sound of the singing bowl. My body is at perfect peace and I feel a deep peace at the sound of the singing bowl. My body is at perfect peace and I feel deep peace at the sound of the singing bowl. I repeat this mantra when I am trying to find a sense of inner peace. I also sit with my celestite crystal, either in my hand or in front of me with my big fella <laughs> that I have, and I actually focus. I use it as a focal point to find a sense of presence and a state of being in the now and being focused on the blue and the tranquility of the color. Uh, Celestite comes in different colors, but the blue one specifically comes from Madagascar. And I, all of my stones are, are uh, responsibly harvested and come from, excuse me, responsible mines. Uh, so that's one of those things I am really big on is making sure that my stones come from a, a responsibly harvested uh, method. So if you feel like you are having trouble with your inner peace, if you are feeling trouble with speaking your truth or trustworthiness, not only of your self-trust, but trustworthiness of other people. Um, I highly recommend that you get yourself a small piece of celestite and then try to get into the practice of meditating with these energy beings and crystals and minerals and be able to harvest and share the energetic uh, flow that they share with us just by being around them. And uh, I usually purchase my stones from a, uh, a mineral dealer. You can actually go online. There's plenty of people on Etsy and such that if you just type in uh, minerals, raw minerals and stones, um, that you can get a myriad of different people that actually uh, sell them and are responsibly harvesting them. I will put some links down in uh, the description box below. If you like what you're hearing today and you feel like it has added some kind of value to your life, please like and subscribe to my channel. Please hit the notification bell as I will be posting different other tools in my positivity toolkit that help me raise my vibration and keep my frequency high. Thank you so much for joining me as I find a way to put my mind over the matter and find inner peace. Namaste.